Oh, the shadows are actually kind of nice. Yeah, it sounds like there might be some upstairs. Yeah. Be careful, man, because they'll run at you. I don't see any on this floor. Yeah, they're upstairs. Oh, I saw him. I see him. And try to stay <laughs> in the torchlight if you can. That works. Um. Oh. I think the roof. Yep, there's three of them up here. And a nurse. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <coughs> cool bandages. I figured I'd bust out the shotgun for dramatic effect. Yeah, definitely. Wait, did I not <laughs> take those bandages? Oh, I just threw them on the ground, I think. How how are you doing for supplies right now? Um, I'm all right. I need to go ahead and heal myself up a little. There's a kitchen one floor down, which should have a lot of food and water for us. Fantastic. Just old trash everywhere. Ooh, birds' nests. Nice. Four more feathers. I'm not quite sure what I'm hoping to find in the air conditioner. Uh, you can oh. scrap some metal and pipes and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Is, that makes more this sense. This good news. Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a good bit of stuff out of that one. Painkillers and gunpowder. How are you for health? I'm doing good. Okay, then I'm going to take these painkillers because I am not doing so hot. Oh, more painkillers. You're not bleeding, are you? No. Now, one thing that might be handy is in a base like this, I tend to destroy the stuff that I've searched. Oh, okay. Um, with the exception of air conditioners, because they just take forever. I did not even know we could do that. Yep. It, it makes keeping track a lot easier. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Screw you, bird nest. Build somewhere else. No, bird nests too, for some reason, they're tough as nails. I, I don't destroy those either. <laughs> I have no idea why it's the case, but they're harder than stone. <laughs> well, you've got some very dedicated birds. Yeah. <laughs> if you find a pot, let me know, because that'll, that'll come in real handy. Okie dokie. I like that I can just pick up a couch. Oh, there's a pot right here, actually. Got one. Excellent. I think there are some zombies trying to beat their way in downstairs. I'm gonna make a storage chest up st up top to dump dump my inventory because it's it's totally full. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty close to that point. And making a ruckus. Oh, this is the nastiest looking carpets. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse, and you're taking the time to critique the decor. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Oh, sweet water. The cure storage chest, that's what I want. I think I'm going to keep this covered, though. I'm not going to break it down. This is, this is nice. We can make a life here. More cans of soup. So can we... Can we use this uh, oven here, or...? We just make no. a campfire. Okay. Yeah, we make a campfire, and then that's what I wanted the pot for. Ah, gotcha. I have a fair bit of metal. I got a chest up here. If you wanna, if you wanna dump any useless stuff, you. Got. Yeah, sure. I'll be up in a second. Just making as much noise down here as I possibly can. <laughs> there is quite a ruckus. 
trying to break down iron desks. No, that's not happening. We'll do that later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, don't don't worry about the furniture. It's it's more of the bags and stuff and garbage that I try to get rid of. Okie dokie. Because otherwise you just you end up searching everything indefinitely, you know, wondering if you, you missed something. <laughs> I appear not to be able to use that. Oh. Oh, wait. Do there I need go. to I it configure it? Oh, it's because I was using it. Ah, uh, okay. I guess it's a one at a time thing. So many door Okay, I'm going to go clear those zombies because that... They're they're slowly wrecking our foundation. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll come with. Ooh, I gotta eat actually. I will eat. I'll have a can of soup and then I'll come with you. <laughs> no, it's okay. I think it was just one zombie beating on a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> That's a load bearing garbage can. <laughs> but it was making enough of a ruckus to think we were under siege. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell did I get a large bone? Oh, some of the dead zombies drop it. Ah. You c you can make an improvised weapon out of it, although I hardly ever use them. Bones are another thing I tend to throw away. I don't even remember picking it up. There's this candy tin can. I'm gonna make a uh, small perimeter of torches on the ground floor outside of our building. Okay. So that uh, any zombies trying to beat their way in are at least moving slowly. There we go. Empty can. Are those useful for anything other than just getting metal out of them? Uh yeah, you can either turn them into scrap scrap metal now, or save them for later and forge them down. Okay. And you got a better return if we if we forge them. So I'd I'd only recommend scrapping stuff that you have immediate use for. You know? Ah, okay. Man, there's so much of this game I just did not even realize was here. <laughs> like, upon my first play, I like I I was really I just was like eh, I don't think I'm gonna be playing this game and then um I saw Rathen like building a whole base I was like I didn't know this was a thing you could do at all <laughs> well I mentioned it a few times in, on the forums but I really consider this the the most promising of the next generation of uh, voxel games I'm uh I'm excited about the possibilities after seeing more of it yeah well they one of the reasons I'm so optimistic about it is because they've kept things relatively manageable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like blocks are still blocks for the most part. Right. Although I'm not so keen on kind of the, the smooth terrain thing they've done recently. Um, but a lot of the, the voxel games that I see in development, um, in my opinion anyway, have been are way too overambitious. Right. You know, where they try to make everything look like kind of your, your typical 3D game, like a, a Battlefield or Call of Duty or something, right? Mm -hmm. And, well, the thing is, there's there are certain compromises that are required in making a voxel game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and Notch understood that well when he made Minecraft, and he made it very visually simple and all, all this kind of stuff. <clears throat> and I see with a lot of the other voxel games is they make severe trade-offs, like in terms of gameplay, uh, for the sake of visual fidelity. Right. Right. Uh, because they want it to look like, you know, the, the AAA title kind of thing, you know. Uh, so, but it's really not suited to it. Like, trade-offs are just <laughs> necessary in order to make a fully dynamic world happen, you know. So it's one of the things that that has always struck me as very promising about this game, is they seem to be aware of that and they do make those trade-offs, right? Mm -hmm. So it's always struck me as, okay, well, this is a game that'll actually get finished. <laughs> yeah, right? I had a, I remember you making mention of just the size of the voxels being something yeah. that made you a lot more yeah, comfortable exactly. with it. Exactly, because they're one meter cubes, you know, same same as Minecraft, right? Right, right. Um, so right from the get-go, not only are you simplifying things from a technical perspective, but also from a game game design perspective, right? Because the smaller you go with blocks, the the more difficult it becomes to um, design all the interactions that they're going to have with each other, right? Right. Like, you, you can imagine, like, redstone or something in Minecraft if, like, you know, all the blocks were 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. Yeah. You know, like, it, it would be an insanely complicated mess, right? <laughs> 
Hmm. But yeah, this game has al al always had a lot of promise to me. I, I was a little disappointed recently because they, this smooth terrain actually is is new. Mm -hmm. And if at some point into, at some point we get into making the mine, uh, to go below ground, you'll see that it's. Well, it strikes me as one of those compromises for visual fidelity at the sacrifice of gameplay. Ah, gotcha. Um, because they kind of went for non-cubic stone, oh, and okay. as a result, it's it's really messy to deal with when you're underground, uh, and you tend to lose orientation and the the points at which man-made structures and natural terrain intersect wind up looking distinctly unnatural mm. because you're obviously dealing with two distinctly different systems. So you're in here just beating on a deer with a stone axe in the middle of somebody's living room. Yep, he got stuck in a wall, <laughs> so I was trying to help him out. Pure, pure class, I see. <laughs> I do my best. I like it. I, I'm going to eat some tuna so you may hear some weird sounds coming out of me. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the same. I'm going straight up with the cat food. You, you really got to torch up these interiors, man. It's only a matter of time before... Uh... Yeah, it's going to get me. I need to go get some sticks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go do that now. Like, that is going to be my goal. Well, you can always chop down a tree and... Uh, oh. Okay. Get a whole lot of wood that way. Yeah, that sounds like something I can get behind. Oh, my God, there's a horde. There's a is horde. There coming from where? Um, Past our building. The one we secured. Okay. I think we have enough time before night to just let them shuffle on by. Yeah, I'm gonna go hide behind this uh, building because that is yeah, just terrifying. Just don't attract their. Yeah, that's what I walked out of that house before <laughs> to see in front of me. I can't help but search things. Okay, they're heading north. Searching things is good. Are we good? A lone zombie, what you doing out here, buddy? Did you ever meant wind up making yourself that spiked club? I did not. I should do that. That's real handy, man. Yeah, I think I have everything I need on me for that. It's got good reach and the, it, it takes them down on oh, two hits. Oh, I need generally. more sticks. I'm gonna chop down a tree. Oh, actually, I got I got plenty here. Let me just pass you some. Okay. Or feel free to. I want to have, have the experience <laughs> of tree chopping. I I can feel that. Yeah. Now I feel like the game's <laughs> really starting. I'm punching wood. The hell? Well, that was gratuitously loud. <laughs> they used to have a really cool system, actually, where the the blocks fell mm -hmm. from the tree, and you could even take damage if you were, you were standing too close. Oh, that's cool. But I guess they they got rid of that for multiplayer lag reasons or something. But you know, I found it kind of unfortunate because it was it was quite nice. Ah, uh, the uh, sacrifices you make for multiplayer. Yeah, exactly. Cause I'm not a very multiplayer oriented person. No, neither am I. I used to be. I used to be hardcore into uh, competitive multiplayer, like going all the way back to Quake 2, but I just don't really feel it anymore. Yeah, I just. Eh. The step. Oh, wait, I need more scrap iron. I think we should probably uh, get into our base. Yeah, that sounds like a good call. Yeah. I think that horde is, has wandered on by and. We're good. Let's beat up this pile of garbage real quick. Excellent. Ugh. I hear zombies breaking stuff. That's not good. Was that me? I think, I think they're in the house north of us, though, rather than our base. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple over in that one. Should we block this off in any manner, or...? We could. Um, 
the what do I got to do that the the block crafting method has changed slightly it's actually quite involved now uh, um, I think yeah we'll probably head upstairs for this night we can worry about fortifying the downstairs tomorrow sounds good yeah we could just get rid of some of these ladders here we'll be fine cool let me grab my uh, soup and eggs <laughs> The hell was that? I think a rabbit just fell off our roof. <laughs> I I came up and I saw a rabbit on the edge and I think he jumped. <laughs> Is that a pile of dead rabbits down there? <laughs> Is there? Come look. <laughs> look off this edge Wait, here. I'll, I'll take care of the practical first and get rid of these ladders. I don't. So yeah, don't go back downstairs right now. Okay. You'll, you'll plummet. <laughs> Not exactly sure what I'm looking at, but it looks like a pile of dead rabbits. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Where is this? That piece that's missing there. Okay. Just look down from there. <laughs> no, I, I can see what you mean, but I think that's trash. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to think it was a bunch of rabbits that had some kind of suicide pact going. <laughs> they interbreeded with lemmings. <laughs> So what's this spider uh, webbing looking pattern on my mini map? Do you know? On your mini map? Yeah, it's like radiating out from me. You're carrying some kind of raw meat. Oh, I that's that's I I, I am. Please, please put that in something. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. See? <laughs> that is, oh man, that, is... that looks hysterical. <laughs> I I've seen it before. Like in the first person, but in the third person, it man, it looks like you're carrying half a cow. That was good. Can you hold that? I want to see this. Uh, yeah. I put it in the chest. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Just two complete sides of venison. <laughs> That's a that is fantastic. Okay, so that's the smell radiating symbol. Okay, yeah, that's a bit over the top. That is amazing. I like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so I think I'm gonna use one of these air conditioners for the truly trashy items. Ah, uh, so yeah, like, like bones. Bones. I I do not. <laughs> we just have an air conditioner full of bones. Yeah. <laughs> As a warning to all other air conditioners. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to see what I can start making. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to set us up with a campfire here. Well, maybe maybe you should craft some of this basic okay. stuff just to get a vibe for it. And for the sake of the viewers, since they can't see what the hell I'm doing. Sounds good. Let me make a couple more bolts real quick, though, since I have some extra feathers. Do you have a bunch of uh, non-sharpened stones? Uh, I have none. Okay, so let me pass you some for, for our campfire. I'll also pass you the pot. Store these eggs back in the bird nest. Okay, pot. Okay. And pile of stones. <laughs> oh, I was throwing them one at a time. I enjoyed the just dropping them directly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're stacking. Cool. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to keep a few for myself. How many you got there? Uh, I have 13. Yeah, that should be enough. I think it's 8 for a campfire. Oh, so campfire is just safety first. Put them in a circle. That is a familiar recipe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And yucca plants seem to have gotten a huge boost to usefulness. Um, you can use them with an empty empty bottle to ma to make a drink now, yucca juice. Oh. And I think it both serves as a as a beverage, and uh, has some kind of healing properties or something. Oh, nice. I have a car battery on me. <laughs> Just lugging around a card battery. Yeah, I got one of those too. Those can be smelted down for lead, which again, unless you're making ammunition, isn't very useful. Gotcha. Uh, okay, cooking. Like pot. the only metal that's really useful is is steel. Oh, iron. Sorry. You could juice. Mmm. You could juice. Stamina plus thirty, fullness plus five, hydration plus fifteen. Which I have mixed feelings about because that's an easy source of water in the desert. 
It's not even a hallucinogen. Mm. So that, okay, so that's how a fire works. Gotcha. <laughs> Interesting statement. <laughs> yeah, and you can put the pot into, uh, did you already, yeah, yeah you already figured that part out. I'm gonna some venison in there. Well, we're gonna need some water to cook with the pot. The other option have is if you got- A bottle of water. Okay, the other option is that instead of a pot, you can make a grill. If you have a uh, short iron, here, let me pass you some short iron pipes. And if you have any others, um, you can use it to make a grill. I have a short iron pipe. Okay, so, I got five. Cooking Let's see grill. if I can make you some more. Apparently we need nine. I've got a, oh, I turned all mine into metal strips. I probably should have done that. Okay, okay. Uh, how the hell do you make pipes? Uh, I think you need forged iron for it. Yeah. I think we're, we're going to need to forge some to get more pipes. Okay. So if you do find more pipes, hang on to them and yeah. we can uh, make ourselves a grill. Otherwise, you need to use water to cook meat in the pot. Gotcha. And even then, the cooked meat does give off a smell. Um, it's just not as bad as the raw. Okie dokie. Yeah, those lines coming out of you were your smell radius. <laughs> I've always wanted to be able to see my instinct lines. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, do I need a shovel? Yeah, I'll keep a shovel on. Okay. Wood stairs. Okay, we got some leather. Oh, old I can make wood. simple bandages. I'm okay. just checking out the stuff you put in the in the chest. Yeah. I think you're gonna make a, a second chest and start organizing. Ugh, organization. I'll take care of it. Barn wood. <laughs> I got a system. Okay. <laughs> I got a ton of paper. Let's see if I can do anything with that. Okay. Clay bowl, cobblestone. Oh, oh, I am starving. That's just, not good. Just noticed this, you know, when blood uh, started exploding out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been so hungry, blood just starts exploding out of your face? Um, here, here's some lamb. What? I have a lamb ration. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop all that face bleeding. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you mind if I grab the bottle of water you put in that chest? Uh, I haven't I'm yet, actually. let me go ahead and put it in there. Uh, there's a bottle of water in here. Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna drink this one, you can have the other one. Oh, cool, thank you. Because, yeah, I'm about to uh, start severely dehydrating. <laughs> Bleeding out of your face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not sure which end you bleed out of if you're uh, if you're thirsty. <laughs> ah, good old dysentery. <laughs> I did drink from that river, so... Ah. Maybe this is responsible for the face bleeding. Okay, so... Okay, so this, this is the scrap metal chest here. Hmm. Because, yeah, st stuff really stockpiles in this game. Yes, if, I... If you don't have some kind of sorting system, you're, what is this? you start going nuts. I guess... Candy tin cans. I'm gonna make another one for uh, consumables, so we know where our food is. Sounds good. There's the old scrap iron down there. A bunch of glass panes for some reason. A bunch of zombies were carrying them around. Oh, actually... We need one of those pipes. Uh, it's in the scrap metal. Oh, good. Um, uh, do we have enough to make a forge? I, I might start working on towards making a forge. Okay. Do you have any um, unsharpened small stones left? Five. Can you throw those at me? Actually, you, you make the forge. What am I saying? Okay. Here, you do it. I'll throw this stuff at you. Okay, here's some more stones. Uh, here's the pipes. I'm not sure what you're holding. <laughs> but you're holding Did it you get right them? over your dick. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> oh, it's it's a storage test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Our, our food chest. There we go. Oh, I could have drank my yucca juice before. I totally... Make myself a forge... <laughs> And, and we're not craft. doing so good on the consumables here. No, we're really not. Um, I don't want to we got that this venison. this venison. Yeah. 
I don't know if I trust that best. <laughs> it was pretty derpy, a pretty derpy deer getting its head stuck in a wall and all. Yeah, but the way it looks, man, I'm not sure if it's going to eat me or we're going to eat it. <laughs> it's like straight up Flintstone style rack of ribs. Yeah. I was thinking more, uh, it looked like a, a Geiger creation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, biomechanical venison. I keep putting things in the bottom slot of my inventory, thinking it's going to be in my hot bar. It's a very simple right. thing, but I just keep on doing it. There we go. We got a forge. I guess this will become the weapons chest here. Berries. I'm gonna grab the rest of my eggs. I kept them in this bird nest. Yeah, you want to cook those up too. Right, but and they're not really worth it, to tell you the truth. Ah. Uh. I'm not sure if you can cook them on the grill. Actually, I think you may you may need water to do it, which is what makes them not really worthwhile. Oh, uh, yeah. Because you got to expend water just to. As much as I love hard-boiled eggs. Hey, we got a forge. Yep. Okay, so in order to use the, use the forge, now we're going to need molds. And in order to make molds, we need clay. Which, the easiest way I found it is to, uh, to find it is to go down by the river. Okay. So I, maybe that should be our, our goal for tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds good, because I could use some uh, water anyway. Mm -hmm. Did you have any em empty glass jars? I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, what was it to make jars? It was like sand there's a specific mold for them i find it rather interesting that our response to finishing drinking is to slam the jar into the ground i know i i really don't like that myself i'm i'm all for kind of the extra challenge bit of it but it's just so counterintuitive mm -hmm. man carrying water around is pretty precious Another. yeah and it would, exactly and it would be nice if um they had some kind of like you know canteen or something you could make out of animal skin Oh, I, can get I think that, that would really help. And uh, what was the other thing about water? Oh, and and to add to the overall mystery of it, okay, there's this limited system for water containers with the glass jars, okay? Mm -hmm. But but a bucket functions in the same way as Minecraft. <laughs> so you can you 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 destroy your glass jars whenever you drink water, but you can place infinite water sources anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's there's something weird going on in the design department there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it always feels like that fight between like I don't know, game actual game and um accessibility. Yeah. Well, the water one is tough, man, because I know, I know they're concerned with kind of public reaction with the stuff they release. Right. And I know if they went hardcore buckets or something similar, that the public would flip. Right. <laughs> They'd go insane about. Oh, we can't move our water. All the all the stuff that we've heard with better than walls. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I I generally play as if as if hardcore buckets is in effect. <laughs> I, I I kind of have a self-imposed ban on. On, on using the game buckets. God, that venison. There's a giant eyeball. Like, in the middle what? of it. Like, if you look at the it as an item in this chest, and, like, hover over it so it pops up a little, it looks like a giant eyeball. I think we that maybe we should throw this venison over the side and then, <laughs> before it kills us in our sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the giant eyeball. You're right. Man, this is like side of Cthulhu. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look uh, at that not zombie over there, thinking he's all that. I, I'm, I'm gonna go to the other side of the roof, all right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think... hey, where are you, anyway? Oh, you're up there. Yeah, that's a bad idea. They Did they just spot us? Y yeah. And and now they're they're punching our foundation? I saw what you meant about the 28 Days to Die zombies. That was really creepy. So it drops to all fours and uh okay they're apparently attacking a completely different building hmm you must have really pissed them off yeah <laughs> okay um take a look 
Uh, you sure? I, I, I think there's at least one bunch in our foundation. Right, but there's like that clump of them over in the uh, red awning building. Um, be careful where you walk, because stuff will collapse. Oh. Like, I wouldn't recommend, yeah, that, that bit you're standing I'm gonna on. get back in here. <laughs> Actually, here, I, I'll give you a demonstration. Come on, come on up here. Come on up. I'll, I'll even put some torches out for our viewers. Because there is kind of a, a rudimentary support system to how you can place blocks in this game. Mm -hmm. Which is one of the things I actually really like about it. Um, like, you can't just build a bridge to nowhere in thin air it, because it'll collapse without support. Okay. But here, if I destroy one of these blocks, you'll probably see what, what I mean. I found a pick um, in one of the cars I looted a while back. Interesting thing to keep in your car. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he was a miner. <laughs> then he shouldn't be driving. <laughs> ah. are, are you saying that all miners should live underground at all times? Uh, like, uh, I think the world would be better if there were less children, yes. Now now that I wanted to demonstrate this, it didn't collapse on me. Nice. <laughs> That's good. So, so, so the moral of this story is stuff only collapses when you don't want it to. <laughs> I swear, this is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole building just comes down. Oh, that was a load-bearing awning. Uh, well, it's possible they've they've modified the the stability of some of these structures um, since the last time I played. But these these in particular were really unstable in the past. I've had them collapse on me a ton of times. Now they appear to be as hard as rock. And now I am going to test the theory. Oh God. <laughs> just, the whole side of the building just falls off. Appears to be stable. <laughs> ah, the sun. I'll just pretend to be a gargoyle. It's fine. Ah, the sun. I think, um, sounds like a good time for a break. Sound good to you? Very good time. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, can we pause this somehow? Yeah. I guess uh, not. I'll just close the server. Oh, cool. Yep. And we'll see you all soon.